All right, so today's the evening of day 29 with these two little red tail catfish. Growing up pretty fast, still pretty small. <laughs> 29 days, only one month old. I'm starting to think they're going to really start going through a growth spurt really big time here in the not too distant future. Looks like we have the one in the handle. Oh. Uh, he, he can barely hang on in that handle. Take a look at this. <laughs> yeah, he's like, forget that handle. Can't quite make it. <laughs> he's so funny. Look at that. He just like hangs on to the filter and won't let go. All right, so I'm actually going to pull this filter completely out this time. So I'm not fighting the catfish. That's going in the filter. Let me move the food here. Uh, wait a minute. <laughs> All right, so need to dump the water from this crazy filter. Need to figure out my technique here. I pulled it out and I started flooding everything over here on the hot tub. So uh, maybe I'll actually pull the filter out. Well, I don't know. I was thinking I could do it when I feed, so you don't have to sit there and watch me drain the filter every single time. <laughs> if I keep the filter in there, it seems like that one catfish keeps going back to it, and then he doesn't eat because he's kind of stuck in the filter, and if he doesn't eat right away, then I clean up all the extra food, and I don't think he gets enough food, so I think I need to pull that filter out so he's not preoccupied when it's feeding time. <laughs> All right, pretty clean, pretty clean. All right. So today I am feeding their favorite beef liver. They absolutely love them. I think this is their favorite hands down. I tried that cod last time. It seemed like I didn't really like that cod very much. All right, so I'm gonna put this in an underwater housing and give you a little bit of underwater video. Today is day 30. I can't believe you've been growing up these little catfish for 30 days. <laughs> that is pretty crazy. I'm gonna unplug the pump. And let's take a look at how big these guys are. And before we do that, I am gonna move everything. And I'm gonna put the filter right here in this old towel. <sighs> He's still trying to cram himself in the handle right there. Let's see if we can get a good look at them in the handle. The handle is about three inches. So you can kind of get an idea of how big he is. <laughs> he can't even fit his head in there anymore. He's just putting half of his body right in the handle. How funny is that? I'd say he's, he's maybe three and a half inches, maybe. Maybe not. All right, so I'm gonna take this filter out. Drain the filter. So I can do this with one hand. This filter's kind of a bad design because if I, uh, it seems like it leaks if I don't completely drain it of water. Uh, 
All right, we'll see how that does. Well, I can actually see the catfish. <laughs> They're getting big enough to where you can see them. Definitely not, don't have to worry about these guys outgrowing the hot tub anytime soon. All right, so I'm gonna do a little cleanup. Looks like I missed a little bit of food from last night. Trying out to squash a catfish while I'm cleaning up here. I guess it's good I have two in case one jumps out or something happens to one. Then the, the whole channel is based on these catfish, so if something happens to them, the channel is done. <laughs> I kept thinking about that yesterday. I was thinking, man, if, if anything happened, like if the house burned down or something, this channel would be over. Of course, I'd have bigger problems at that point. All right. So today we're gonna feed them some chopped up shrimp, shrimp tails that I got from Safeway. It seems like they like it better up against the wall over here. All right, so I'm gonna put this camera in an underwater housing and give you a little underwater video.